Welcome back to Grit Culture, one of the few places in media, one of the few and very slim places in media that you'll find a person that has a level of objectivity and does his best to, you know, get to the meat of things, get to the truth. I'm not trying to sell you propaganda. I want to keep you informed. So, uh, some like, dislikes, whatever you want to do, share, subscribe, engage with the post, engage with the post, let's help build this channel, uh, what I want to talk about is the Breonna Taylor situation and the new news that has come out that says in Louisville, Kentucky, They've shut down the city. They've shut down downtown area. Uh, the courthouses and other federal buildings uh, in the area. They blocked off many sections to keep uh, people from making their way downtown. Uh, not to be confused with the song. <laughs> Uh, they, but they blocked out many sections. Sounds like they're getting ready for something. Sounds like they're getting ready for something. And ca- just in case you've been living under a rock, uh, Breonna Taylor, uh, uh, was a young lady that was killed a few months ago. I forget the exact date. Uh, it was killed in a killed in a raid a raid on her house by undercover policemen uh, conducted a no knock warrant suspected uh, suspected of peddling drugs from her place of residence her and her boyfriend were startled gunfire ensued as he pulled his pistol or whatever, and exchanged gunfire with the officers, and he was able to hit one of the officers in the leg, uh, but in return fire, Breonna Taylor, his girlfriend, was killed in the gunfire. Uh, Now, he was arrested, but uh, subsequently he was released after that. A lot of different things, a lot of different moving pieces to this case. So, you know, go back and review it. Um, There's a lot of different things that we got to get changed within our police departments and our individual cities that we live in. Um, It's nothing, it's, it's not a not a presidential issue, it's not a federal issue, you don't look at anything like, you know, Donald Trump or, you know, anything, anybody in Washington, we need to exercise our rights that have been given to us, the 10th Amendment gives each state its individual powers to enact different laws, AKA agreements, which laws are supposed to be between you know, the people and the authoritarian figures and the citizens to conduct, have a code of conduct to how they want to move on an everyday basis. So, we gotta do, we gotta do audits on our police departments tearing up everything I mean I understand people are angry you know got a right to be angry tearing up everything isn't gonna change everything. isn't gonna change anything when you haven't even exercised all avenues if you know what I'm saying tear up shit once 
once you've exhausted all different avenues and you've tried everything that is within your right, says in your constitutional law that you can exercise. Now, do I think do I personally think that the officers will be charged or arrested? I've said from the start they wouldn't. I've said from the start that they wouldn't. Reason being is because according to their documents, according to their documents, they exercised, they exercised a warrant, which constitutional right that's what you're supposed to have if entering a personal uh, or seizing a personal property you have to have reasonable cause with a warrant and they have from what I've seen they had extensive information that's contained within the warrant also at the time no knock warrants were not illegal. It wasn't illegal to do a no-knock warrant. Now, since due to what's what took place, now they've implemented that law. But you know that's after the fact. Uh, you know that's a good job on the people's part by getting that put in place. You know sometimes, you know you hate to wait for something to happen for these different laws and things to get have revisions put to it but nonetheless better now than never so that's one reason why the other reason is when you talk about a lot of people point to the fact that there were no body cameras on the body cameras weren't turned on well that from the information that I received and expound on it if there's any error in what I'm reporting but from the information that I received from what I've read from public records that officers were fired for not having their body cameras on they were fired for not having their body cameras on uh, goes against the LMPD Louisville Metro Police Department policy. Now, is there a law within Louisville that says a cop can be imprisoned for not having their not having their body camera? Not that I know of. Not that I've seen. Uh, I have not taken a look through the Louisville law book. From what it looks like, it doesn't look like there's any law like that. Absolutely nowhere. Nowhere in their laws books that I know of. So, with that being said, if you want to make that change, you're going to have to come together and you're going to have to press the issue and it's going to have to maybe an arduous task, but something that you'll have to get up and make happen every day. You can't fall back into your daily habits you know it's got to take priority over you know your football game or your favorite show on television or whatever little fun and leisure that you have you can still squeeze that in there but there has to be a priority that's if these different issues are that are uh, that much of take that much of a problem to you individually as a person you have to find time you have to find time to make these different changes hell I'm with you I believe you know, if you don't have any body cam on or anything sure, sure. you know you need, you need to do some time you know as an officer and as a person that's in an authoritative position that puts more responsibility, you have more responsibility to do the right thing than just a normal citizen. Uh, just like the Spider-Man quote, with great power comes great responsibility. And that's just anything that comes within a higher position or a more authoritative.
authoritative or I don't even want to say authoritative, but you know, in a position of a position that has more responsibility. There should be more consequence when you screw up. But of course we don't have that. We don't have that for many various reasons. We don't have that going on here in America. So I definitely Definitely feel that it should be held accountable, but you can't go back. It sets a bad precedent if you go back on this case and decide that they need to go to jail, just dealing with those. Now, if there's something, if there's some details that I don't, you know, that I'm missing or anything, then, you know, you know let it be known. But dealing with the details that I've laid out and that I, what I understand, What's on those law books? That would set a bad precedent to throw them in jail. Because, you know, you know, imagine if they start implementing that on the citizens and going off the mob mentality. Letting the mob mentality decide, you know, who gets who gets put in jail. We as black people, think about this, black people, we only make up 13. 17% of this population here in the United States. You're still dealing with a whole nother 85%. It's not what you want to do. You want to have a certain rule of law. You want to have a certain rule of law that you, know, you as the citizens have to put in place within your own city. You already have the national, the federal rules of law that can't and shouldn't be, shouldn't be messed with under any circumstance, but because, you know, out of fear and said necessity, you have leaders who know what they're doing, but choose to violate those laws anyway, and the people go along with it and call for their own oppression because of Fear. And even when you bring it to the attention of the people, they'll still call for their own oppression because of fear. Because of fear. So, it's just something to think about. I'm pretty sure, you know, once, in, like I said, they're putting all this, got all this going on downtown because they already know what's about to go down. Hopefully, it can be a voice of reason like me that exists within Louisville, Kentucky that can spread this way of thinking, a practical way of thinking around the town enough to where they won't start destroying everything. At least look at it and start, you know, look at it from another point of view and like I said, start exhausting exhausting the different rights, the different powers that you have as a citizen, but you have to make these things a priority. You can't put it to the back burner and then wait for the next tragedy to happen. Gotta nip it at the bud. But other than that, y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. I'll let y'all later. All right.